So this is my room, which is number 951. So let's have a look, first of all, at the very well-appointed bathroom. I like showers like that, and nice big ones, sort of the walk-in one, the American type one. And uh, although I think if I'd done it, I wouldn't have had it directly behind the door. I'd have arranged that uh, the other way, so the shower maybe was on the right, and maybe the. I'm not certain. I'm just uh, making that bit up as I go along. Uh, an enormous bed here. I mean, I think it's enough space. I joked with. Uh, the organiser of my trip, he said that there was uh, going to be uh, three other people turning up and I said, what, we're all, all four of us in the same room and then there certainly is enough room uh, here for all four of us. And uh, so, um, absolutely enormous bed. The last time I had a bed this enormous was in the Charles Hotel in Munich and actually I slept instead of, I slept on the width of the bed instead of the length. Uh, I don't know why that happened. Uh, anyway, I think my, in that case, my circumstances were so grand, I uh, I didn't sleep at all during the night. Anyway, there we have. Um, I would say, look, the view's panoramic. I mean, it's 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 a great view. Uh, it's a great window. I would say, maybe not so much a great view, um, but uh, plenty of light coming in. It's unfortunately a great. It's, it's a great day. It is the twenty fifth of September, and this is Manchester. I don't know if they've ever had a blue sky here ever. If anybody from Manchester happens to be watching this video, uh, have a look at some of my videos from Sicily and then you can see what a blue sky looks like. But um, other than the weather, I've got to say that the hotel, uh, is, hotel room is very, very nice. As is the lounge, which I shall now show you. Ooh, but I didn't quite get here to what facilities we have in there. It's a trouser press. I think I'll use that. My trousers haven't been ironed for... Uh, couple of years and uh, there's even, oh there's an iron up there, there's an ironing board here and there's a hair dryer, you always get a hair dryer of course, and there's a thing to stick your trousers and your wet clothes on as well. Oh and of course, hey look at this, nice selection of stuff in there to drink, a few biscuits, what have you, very nice, very nice room. This is the business lounge for the business guests in this hotel and look at that outstanding view of Manchester Airport. A plane just came into land and should you be a plane spotter this seems like an ideal place to be to see what's going on and if you're not a plane spotter I still think it's a, a wonderful view to look out the window and uh, take it all in. And I like this type of lounge in hotels. I mean, obviously, New York, uh, good hotels have this type of thing. And we have here a selection of drinks and some posh chocolates. Unfortunately, no food, except, well, except for bananas and apples. But, uh, you can see I'm the only one here at the moment. Got my stuff down there. But uh, there was other people here earlier today. And they have a selection of papers as well. Times, Financial Times, Daily Mail and The Sun. I'd like to say that my stay in this hotel was uh, really nice and uh, we're leaving now. It's, I couldn't think of anything which was wrong. It was really superb, excellent place to be. And Manchester Airport is not really a destination you want to spend too much time in, but you spent in this hotel, it'd be time very well spent.